coming for an encounter with us today. He's chasing our hearts. He wants our hearts. He wants access to our hearts. He's not so interested in the outer, but He's interested on the inside. He wants to break open our hearts today. We're so used to keeping it together, but God says, I'm pulling you apart. I'm taking you apart from the inside. I want access to your heart. Give me permission to your heart. And I saw the operating rooms. I see operating rooms. And the Lord is just taking us in one by one. He's extending His hand and He's taking us in one by one. And there's no other people. It's just an intimate time with God, with Jesus one on one. And the glory of the Lord. There's no lights in that operating theatre. But the glory of the Lord and the presence of the Lord is in that place. And we are laid bare on that operating table with Him. We are laid bare. We are exposed. We are uncovered. And as our hearts lay there bare, I see an outline, an outline of a heart. And there is a scar. There is a deep scar, an ugly scar. It is a scar so deep. It is a scar that has been stitched and it's broken in some places. It's a deep scar. And God says, I want to heal that scar. I want to release and unlock everything that the enemy's tried to keep inside. I want to release and I want to unlock that today. But you have to give me permission. You know, when we go into surgery, we got to sign a permission Hallelujah. form. we got Thank to sign you, the form to, you, to let him do that surgery. Thank you, God says, Hallelujah. give me permission. Give me permission. Precision, Hallelujah. incision. I feel the Lord say precision, Hallelujah. incision. He wants to make a precise incision Hallelujah. that is going to hit the spot. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Thank if you, Lord. Hell, He's going to cut through that same scar. He's going to cut through the scars. There are so many scars. Scars of defeat, scars of lies, scars of fear, of depression, of doubt, of rejection, of disappointment. There's so many scars of pain and suffering and loss. And God wants to cut through that very same scar. And that scar that once disabled you, that scar that once disrailed you, that scar that once defiled you, that scar that once defined you will not do that any longer. It will not cause you no more defeat. The scar that once caused downfall and once called defeat will become a scar of your greatest victory and your greatest triumph. Oh, yeah.